English rule, especially in now India. So previous class uh, you learned student first half of Maratawa, second half of Maratawa, and third half of Maratawa. After the gaining victory from that with the, that Maratawa, the completely Western part, especially the Maratha Kingdom came under the control of the British Empire. Now the British uh, concentrated to capture and extend their empire in Punjab state. So Punjab state, uh, there was a good uh, kingdom while the administration period of the British Empire in our India. So they doing the Anglo Sikh war, British were ready to capture the place of Punjab. Now let us discuss student uh, how Anglo Sikh war started and here in this uh, Anglo Sikh war who got uh, succeeded complete information now we let's discuss here. So Anglo Sikh war the reason is that by the reason this Anglo Sikh war started here. The reason student a political anarchy broke in the Punjab state here. What the uh, what could we mean the political anarchy in this year? Political, political, political anarchy, political disturbance started in Punjab state. So why political disturbance started in this year? So here are death of King Ranjit Singh uh, in the year of 1839. 1839, Ranjit Singh died. After the dying of the Ranjit Singh, there we see the political disturbance. Uh, and uh, to getting thrown, there was a trial started that we understand here uh, political anarchy. So getting thrown, trial starting between the uh, Punjab peoples here. So, uh, like the uh, anarchy started uh, during the starting of the Anglo Sikh war. Okay, here, Jetta King Singh, uh, 1839, he was a great ruler and good, war, good administrator. And uh, uh, this Maharaja Ranjit Singh made good friendship with the British Empire when he was ruling back. But the British were very good, uh, uh, developed the friendship with the Ranjit Singh. When Ranjit Singh died, when the political anarchy started in this uh, Punjab state, knowing this, they were ready to exploiting taking advantage of that uh, uh, quarreling here. So, by this concept student, uh, Anglo Sikh war started here. This is the reason here. Okay, here see, I said it, maintain a friendly relationship with the British, who it is isn't here, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, while his administration time. Okay, after the death of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, everything completely changed. British were ready to violate the treaty of friendship. They were completely uh, collapsing or uh, damaging the friendship pact with the Punjab state because there were no powerful ruler. There we see the quarreling between the Punjab people. So this one, unfortunately, this one advantage of uh, uh, British Empire ready to take and uh, start the Anglo Sikh war here. Okay, in the continuing of the Anglo Sikh war, sensing. So whatever the developing concept made by the British people here, that were knowing by the Punjab people what they had done, let me say that here explaining, sensing danger Punjab people, they made unity among the Punjab peoples here. So here unity, Muslims, Hindus and uh, uh, Sikh, the three unity, three committee made the unity to uh, defeat the British Empire. British uh, ready to exporting the uh, political an anarchy in Punjab state, knowing this Punjab peoples, what they had done, they made the unity among their Hindu Sikhs, uh, Muslims, uh, they made unity. So, whatever the unity they made here, but it uh, was not succeeded because in front of the British Empire, the strong uh, army system and cunning plan, by this concept, uh, our uh, uh, Indian people got uh, loses here. Okay, here, uh, finally, this unity, what they had done in India, finally this uh, unity accepted the defeat uh, from the British. There was a reason in there to accept the defeat from the British Empire. Reason was the traitors. So in India, many traitors were there. By the traitors' uh, support, the British were ruled many years in our India. So traitors, nothing but the cheating, who are doing the cheating. Cheaters, we are saying, the cheating concept of who had those completely uh, supported to the British Empire and the British got succeeded here. Okay, by British Empire, the British people are offering some money and uh, land.
to the traders to do the uh, cheating here. So like we are in Punjab state also, some people's traders uh, uh, supported to the British Empire. So here uh, that unity accepted defeat from the British Empire. This is the reason to accept of defeat from British Empire by that uh, unity of the Punjab state here. Okay, that accepted uh, concept here. While accepting, they made the agreement here. By agreement, the accepted the complete, completed here. So accepted the Lahore Agreement in the year of 1846. 1846 Lahore Agreement by the unity accepted the defeat from British Empire. Okay, now British after the getting the place Punjab state, now British become de facto ruler of Punjab. De facto nothing but the real ruler of Punjab now British become here because of traitor support and uh, losing of the Punjab unity. Okay, after the death of Ranjit Singh, everything happened because Ranjit Singh was a very good administrator, good warrior and good emperor. Okay, so after the death of his property, uh, everything changed in Punjab state. This is one violating by the British people to acquire the base of Punjab. Okay, and now like this concept student, like the uh, property Punjab become a dependent state of British Empire. So like this uh, Anglo Sikh War, the start of Anglo Sikh War, main reason after the death of Ranjit Singh, there was a complete politi political alliance started in our uh, Punjab state. This one violating by the British, knowing this uh, Punjab peoples, they made unity among the community, Hindu, Muslim and Sikh. But whatever the unity they made, but not succeeded because of traitors support to the British. Finally, Lahore Agreement by this Anglo Sikh war ended. But completely not ended, still peoples are anger against the British Empire. How? Let's be discuss. Students, uh, after the Lahore Agreement, uh, Punjab state made the British Empire. Few days later, the Punjab state people, what they had done, Sikh, especially the Punjab state people called as Sikh, Sikh attempted the, the British rule again. So, in the concept of this statement, uh, meeting student, again, uh, Punjab state people ready to defeat the uh, British Empire in Punjab state here. So, who, by which uh, leaders the opposition started here. So opposition started by Jatta Singh Attaiwala, he was from Lahore and another one Murra Singh in Multan, another one place in Punjab. So Multan from Multan and Lahore, these people Jatta Singh Attaiwala and Murra Singh ready to defeat the British Empire in our India. So whatever the concept, whatever the unity brought by these people but not succeeded because of, because of British Empire army system and cunning plans. So finally, Lord uh, Dalhousie defeat all the uh, issues of the Punjab state, whatever the defeat started, whatever the war, whatever the battle started from the uh, unity from the Punjab state, whatever the leaders started the opposing to the uh, British Empire, but the new Governor General came to British Empire after the Lord Wellesley. Lord Wellesley went back to the England. So now British made one another one now. The British Governor General his name is Lord Dalhousie. So when Lord Dalhousie came to the power of British Empire, he became the Governor General of the British Empire, completely he defeated all the issues of the Punjab state and finally Punjab merged to the uh, British Empire here. So like that the Anglo Sikh War completely ended and by the ending of the Anglo Sikh War, now Anglo, uh, now the Sikh uh, reason and Punjab state came under the control of British Empire here. Okay, after the uh, competition of the Anglo Sikh War, let's we discuss uh, Dal Aussi, Lord Governor General Dal Aussi about here. Okay, here Dal Aussi, he became the Governor General of British Empire in the time of 18. 1848, he became the Governor General of British uh, East India Company and uh, when he came to our India, his intention to spread the uh, British Empire complete uh, in our India. So, purpose of that, uh, he got a policy. So, he has given C student to attempt, uh, he started, attempt integrate Indian Princely State. So, at that time, we had uh, 562, nearly 562 Princely State were there. All those 562 want to be 
take the under the control of British Empire. His intention was Dalhousie. So that says here, attempted to indicate the Indian princely state to the British Empire. His intention was. Who can tell? Purpose of that to integrate all the princely state to the British Empire. To purpose of that, he brought one policy that from policy A is doctrine of blacks. So he implemented the doctrine of blacks policy. So let's be discuss student uh, what the concept it says uh, doctrine of blacks. What is the concept of uh, doctrine of blacks? Now let's be discuss. Okay, students, uh, to merge the uh, Indian princely states to British Empire, uh, Dalhousie brought one of the concept uh, on policy. The policy in the name is the Doctrine of Blacks here. Doctrine of Blacks, what it says? See here, the adopted children of Indian kings were refused to right to throne. So, as a model student, uh, after the end of one ruler in one administration system of one kingdom, after his son what became and ruled the, the kingdom. But if uh, the ruler doesn't have any uh, child, so what they are doing, they adopting the other children here. So this concept is uh, quite common in our Indian history. Ah, okay, in an Indian ruling time. So here the adopted children, like adopted children, they don't have any rights to acquire the throne of, after the death of the ruler here. So by the implementation of this black class policy, they were ready to acquire the uh, kingdoms which uh, ruler doesn't have the uh, child here. So uh, another concept of the Dhamma class here, if any Indian ruler died childless, if you don't have a child, if he died childless, his adopted children, whatever the adopted children uh, had no legal rights to the throne. So that children don't have rights to acquire the throne of that kingdom. So that kingdom already uh, come to under the control of British Empire. So here the important concept here, the Indian ruler died without uh, uh, any child. He doesn't have the child. So the adopted children no rights to acquire the throne of that kingdom. So this uh, says uh, Daphne of Laps here. So by the implementation of this, this law, Daphne of Laps, uh, Dalos is ready to acquire the different places of our India. Okay, we are seeing such status, which uh, uh, states come under the control of this uh, policy here. See such states like Nagpur, Sambalpur, Udaipur, Jansi and uh, Jaipur. These places, uh, uh, rulers, they don't have the child. So they adopted the children and uh, by the implementation of the doctrine of laps, the completely adopted children uh, no rights to acquire the throne of that place here. And finally those places came under the control of the British Empire. Okay, now this is one kind of the political weapon to spread the British Empire brought by the uh, Dalhousie here. Okay, so this is the uh, concept between the Dalhousie and the uh, doctrine of laps. In conclusion, we here. Uh, in conclusion, whatever the implementation of the Dakhnaf labs, what kind of the result brought in India? Let's see. See, implementation of the Dakhnaf labs here, princely families and uh, even ordinary people who had sympathetic to the king, they ready to rebel against the British Empire. So, royal families uh, angered by the implementation of the uh, Dakhnaf labs and also who were uh, very loved. Uh, would be sympathetic to the rulers, those people ready to anger against the British Empire and British concept of the Dakhna class here. So finally, this uh, rebel gave the path to start one of the uh, great uh, war in our India to struggle British Empire in our India. So which war in this is here that gave the path to start the Sipai Mutiny, the first war of independence 1857. 1857, first war of independence or uh, Sipai Mutiny started by the implementation of the doctrine of laps here. So next class student, we can continue next lesson. Thanks student.